still looking great after all these years. Prince Charles, 70, hits the beach in pattern swimming trunks as he enjoys downtime in Barbados. They're in the midst of a hectic royal tour, but Prince Charles and his wife Camilla have managed to find some downtime to hit the beach during their 12-day official visit to the Caribbean. Looking incredibly lithe for a man in his eighth decade, the Prince of Wales, 70, was seen strolling along the beach in Barbados, sporting a pair of floral bathing trunks, before taking a dip in the sea. The royal couple are currently on a tour of the Caribbean which will include a four-day visit to Cuba beginning on March 24, the first by members of the monarchy. During their tour, Charles and Camilla will also visit St. Vincent and the Grenadines, St. Kitts and Nevis, Grenada and the Cayman Islands. Charles and Camilla looked happy and relaxed as they walked along the golden sand, wearing their bathing suits and carrying striped towels. As they made their way along the beach Charles was seen looking towards his wife and saying a few words before indulging in a swim. Their stay in Barbados, the Prince of Wales and Duchess of Cornwall will sit down for talks with two leading figures from the island's national life. Charles and Camilla will meet Dame Sandra Mason. Who as Governor General is the Queen's representative on the Commonwealth Island, and the country's first woman Prime Minister Mia Motley. A barrister who studied at the London School of Economics, Ms Motley came to power in May last year when her Barbados Labour Party inflicted a crushing defeat on the ruling Democratic Labour Party, winning all the seats in Parliament. In 2017 Charles visited the Caribbean in the wake of Hurricanes Maria and Derma to see for himself the damage wreaked by the natural disasters. He will meet the men and women who are safeguarding Barbados in the event another natural disaster strikes the region when he visits Garrison Savannah. He will learn about the nation's disaster response system and watch a demonstration. The prince will also visit the New Israel Synagogue, which dates from 1654 and is one of the oldest Jewish places of worship in the Americas. Camilla will carry out her own program of events including attending a big lunch event at the Derek Smith School and joining a Women of the World meeting. The Caribbean tour started when Prince Charles landed in St. Lucia on Sunday and was warmly greeted by the Prime Minister Alan Chastain. The trip to the island paradise was a brief stop of a few hours, as he then flew on to Barbados where the Duchess of Cornwall was waiting. Camilla had already flown out to the island. After arriving in St. Lucia Charles spoke at the open-air event before Prime Minister Alan Chastanet, Governor-General Sir Emmanuel Neville Sinak, British High Commissioner Steve McCready and other guests including students. Charles said, The Commonwealth has been a cornerstone of my life for as long as I can remember and, through all the unprecedented global challenge of these past seven decades, it seems to me that the Commonwealth remains as vital today as it has ever been. Speaking about the global threat posed by climate change the Prince went on to say, Importantly, the Commonwealth brings us together and gives us the means to harness shared opportunities, as well as to address common challenges. There is no greater challenge facing all of us, in my view, than that of global warming and climate change which, I know, poses nothing short of an existential threat to this island as it is to every part of this region. 
He went on to talk about his 2017 visit to the Caribbean in the wake of Hurricanes Maria and Irma to see for himself the damage wreaked by the natural disasters. Charles also praised St. Lucia's abundant talent and creativity which got enthusiastic applause from the crowds in stands at the sports field hosting the event. The Prince's flying visit has given the St. Lucians an excuse to extend celebrations marking the 40th anniversary of the country's independence, and an official ceremonial welcome and parade was be staged in the open air later for Charles. With its tropical forests, famous pitons, towering volcanic plugs that are World Heritage Site, and picturesque towns the island is the archetypal Caribbean destination. It was fought over many times during the 17th and 18th century before Britain took control of the strategically important island from the French and today its culture still reflects these influences especially in the French Creole widely spoken. The former crown colony of Britain, whose economy has moved from sugar production to tourism and banana growing is one of the Queen's realms meaning Charles is not a foreign royal but a Prince of St. Lucia. Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall were given a warm welcome as they arrived in Barbados to continue their 12-day tour of the Caribbean. Charles, 70 was warmly embraced by well-wishers as they took part in the ceremony marking their visit to the capital of Bridgetown. The royals are currently on a 12-day tour of the Caribbean, and arrived in Bridgetown earlier today to huge crowds. Marching band went ahead of the couple's arrival, and they were greeted by hundreds of royal fans who lined the streets. Prince Charles, 70, and his wife Camilla, 71, went on to watch a military parade and meet the Governor General and first female Prime Minister of Barbados. Prince Charles, 70, and his wife Camilla, 71, went on to watch a military parade and meet the Governor General and first female Prime Minister of Barbados. The royal couple were greeted by hundreds of fans who lined the streets and huge crowds as they awaited the arrival of the British royals. A marching band played ahead of the official arrival of Prince Charles, Prince of Wales and Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall. The couple looked in good spirits and greeted crowds warmly, before watching the military parade and a wreath-laying ceremony. Camilla wore a gorgeous light blue caftan with white trousers, and carried a small beach bag with a stylish bamboo handle. The Prince of Wales meanwhile opted for a beige-coloured three-button suit, adorned with his military medals, with the bright and colourful strappy tie. The couple laid a wreath at the sonograph, and were snapped arriving at the meeting with the Governor-General. Charles and Camilla met Dame Sandra Mason, who as Governor-General is the Queen's representative on the Commonwealth Island, and the country's first woman Prime Minister Mia Motley. A barrister who studied as the London School of Economics, Ms Motley came to power in May last year when her Barbados Labour Party inflicted a crushing defeat on the ruling Democratic Labour Party, winning all the seats in Parliament. The royal couple are currently on a tour of the Caribbean which will include a four-day visit to Cuba beginning on March 24, the first by members of the monarchy. During their tour, Charles and Camilla will also visit St. Vincent and the Grenadines, St. Kitts and Nevis, Grenada and the Cayman Islands. 
Charles is also said to be keen to discuss the impact of climate change in the area, having already spoken about the issue in St. Lucia. Speaking about the global threat posed by climate change the prince said, importantly, the Commonwealth brings us together and gives us the means to harness shared opportunities, as well as to address common challenges. There is no greater challenge facing all of us, in my view, than that of global warming and climate change which, I know, poses nothing short of an existential threat to this island as it is to every part of this region. Later on that day the Prince of Wales met with two singers Tom Jones and Lionel Richie, 69. He named the Hello Singer as an ambassador for the Prince's Trust International.